here's something really cool you might not have known about splat bombs. When you throw a bomb, there's some kind of trigger that causes it to go into this animation where it blows up. If you throw a curling bomb, it'll trigger at the end of its path, however far it's going to travel. For an auto bomb, it's going to lock onto a target, and then once it gets close enough to that target, it triggers. With a splat bomb, the trigger is just it hitting the ground. Okay, that sounds really similar to how the suction bomb works, but the splat bomb can hit the ground, but then keep moving. If you throw a splat bomb at the ground, the fuse time starts while it's still moving toward them. The splat bomb actually gives the opponent the least amount of time to react before it blows up. And look, you can roll a bomb almost as far as you can throw it at max distance. So a lot of the time, if you're on the same level as your opponent, you're not trying to hit up over a ledge or something, roll the bomb at them instead of throwing it at them. 